it's Faye. Today we're gonna do another get ready with me KCON edition and as you can tell, um, I don't know. If you're going to KCON New York, you might just catch me with this kind of makeup on. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for a while now, what is a good K-pop concert or just a concert overall um, type of makeup style to wear and this is something I might be wearing. It really depends on you and your style. As usual, I like to take you guys through the whole skincare routine in the beginning. So I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing because my acne has been loving my makeup, at least I think. Typically, this is what I do when I have time on my hands. Let's do this. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna get deep and personal today. I'm just gonna be honest and have a real talk with you guys. First, I'm gonna exfoliate my face quickly with a bubble pad, a bubble peeling pad, but it really is just like a soapy, bubbly pad. This one's by Wish Formula, and I've used this a long time ago, but now I'm just like rediscovering it. Why did I stop? I love this thing. Ooh, do you see all that bubble? Mm, it smells like lemon. So good. It is a very soft looking cushion pad. This side is more soft. This side has a little bit of a gritting so you can have that exfoliating effect. As I start rubbing, you can tell the bubbles start forming. I really, really like using this in the shower because you can use it on your face and then scrub your neck, especially if you have like dark neck problems like I do. <laughs> I'm gonna use the exfoliating side first. You want to take this in circular motions and I like to focus this right on my acne as you can tell. So you can do this when you you know, when you wake up and you wash your face. The reason why I really like this is because overnight our face compiles a lot of dead skin. Plus it's the summer now so it's super hot. I find that if I don't exfoliate my face in the morning because I am oily skin, I'm acne skin, I have dead skin. If you don't exfoliate in the morning, you're gonna be a little bit caking when you pack on that makeup. I just like to get as much dead skin cells as possible off before I even go in with my skincare routine. Just so you have a fresh, squeaking base. I'm just gonna take this cushion side and just start wiping. Oh my god, this is like a game changer. I promise you will be the most softest thing in the world. Ooh, don't get it in your mouth or your eye. And then after that, you can go ahead and wash your face. But I like to just squeeze as much bubbles as I can out. I do this. I just massage it in my skin. I'll be right back. I'm gonna rinse this off and we'll go to the next step. Oh yeah, oh my god, look at that. Just like the last time when I did a get ready with me, I like to use a face mask. Here I have two of my most current favorites. These are the Glutamine B and C Real Gel Masks by Common Labs. And don't worry, I'll be linking all the products I use today down below in the description box. Just so you don't have to go and search because I hate doing that too, okay? I feel you. If you have dry skin, I recommend the vitamin B mask because it helps soothe and calm your skin, giving a lot of hydration. So I like using this at night even though I'm oily skin because, you know, I'm just laying like a dead body. So I'm not moving <laughs> and I'm not active so I'm not producing oils. During the day, I like to use the vitamin C mask because I have textured skin. It helps smooth out my skin. One, two, I like it that it brightens up my dual skin, especially because I have acne scars. It's so important to lighten up your acne scar with vitamin C masks. As you can tell, a lot of my acne scars on my cheeks are gone. This is like a very fancy smantling mask. So there's two parts to this. There's a part one and a part two. This step is more of an exfoliating, peeling um cotton. Let me show you. There's a little cotton pad like this. I know you must be thinking we just exfoliate our face Day. This is more like a cleansing cotton pad. It's an essence. You don't wash it off. What I like to do is focus this right on the T-zone. Going in right after with this really helps pull your face back into a bouncy feel and not that like tight feel. I like to flip the cotton pad to the other side where it's clean and I like to go down my neck. Now for step two, it is the facial mask. And look at that, do you see that? Oh my lord, girl. This is like a jelly mask. The reason why I love gel masks is because it doesn't absorb into like the sheet itself. And also the jelly is gonna penetrate into your pores and keep your skin hydrated and bouncy. Oh yes, oh my gosh, it is so good. 
What I like to do is rub my face in circular motions really fast Just to create that friction, you're giving your face a little bit of warmth So your pores open up a little bit more That way, it'll have no choice but to soak in the jelly Then rub the excess on your arms Basically go swimming real quick Okay, 15 minutes pass and it's time to take off the mask So let me do that Wow my skin feels so soft. Now that my skin is looking good and feeling good, I'm gonna take a little bit of vitamin C oil. Just a tiny bit, like two, three drops. I'm gonna rub it on my fingers, pat my agony areas. I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my face with the Magic Snow Cream. Sunscreen. And that's what I do for my morning skincare routine before makeup. Who said acne skin can't have glowy skin? About KCON, I really do hope you guys come to my KCON um, panels and workshop Friday. I'm gonna be doing a workshop with Charlotte from Silco Glam. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of tip about acne and like how I've been dealing with it, etc. On both days, Friday and Saturday, I'll be at the subculture booth and we're gonna be doing a little fun, like, I think it's like a song lyric challenge. Obviously, you win prizes and I'll be there because I'm a jam to BTS and got seven. Hello. And then on Saturday, I'll be at the KCON TV booth and we're gonna do a little fan Q&A and a quick meet and greet so please please do come to the KCON TV booth it'll be around 2 30 to 3 and then the last panel I have on Saturday will be with Whitney Bay I love her Courtney and still not David and Dre we're gonna be talking about how we met our idols etc it's gonna be a fun fangirling panel so you guys should definitely come I believe it's gonna be hot at KCON so just a little bit of foundation my skin all around has been doing better but there is still agony there so I like to cover that up a little bit with the concealer So usually when I'm doing these get ready with me, I like to have a heart to heart with you guys I've realized some youtubers can be quite stingy <laughs> A lot of people don't like to share about their materials, their equipment, their their editing software, etc. Some people don't really like to tell others what they're using to film, like their camera. And the reason why I bring this up is because the other day I saw Kim Tai. I love her, by the way. I don't like. Can you guys tell her I love her? Thank you. She mentioned something like the only way to rise is to help others or something like that along the lines of that, like that kind of gif. And I was like, that is so true. Sometimes creators can be quite stingy. Other times, creators are like fine about sharing what they use and how they edit. With that being said, I use Final Cut Pro to edit my videos and I film with a Lumix GH5 right now. I'm still trying to get used to because... <laughs> It's kind of hard. I have studio lights. I used to have a ring light, but mine's kind of died. I have freaking curtains behind me. I mean, nothing special. <laughs> and for vlogging, I use the G7X, but mine's broke under a year. I sent it to Canon. They sent me a G9X. I didn't want that one, so I decided to buy the Mark II version of the G7X. It could be that creators are scared. People are gonna co uh, copy their setup or copy their quality. What the hell? that's a thing and not just that even me when I was a smaller youtuber or like when I was just starting I was like very curious about what people use because I really like their setup I really like their quality but then again you have to understand that youtubers take pride in their quality and their their setup and what they use and what they do they're, they're really prideful of that and there's nothing wrong with that you know oh, my butt hurts like my butt bone because I don't have a butt. Can we take one moment to just appreciate the glowiness under my skin because that mask? Another thought is materialistic people. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with people working hard and wanting to spend their money that they worked for on themselves with, you know, luxurious material or things, bags, purses, shoes, whatever. Like, it's their money. Like, why does that affect you? I'm not materialistic. <laughs> I am like the cheapest person ever. You can use that money for something much, much more significant like food. Um, food. More than anything, I think you should be grateful about everything that you have. Unless you're really spoiled, then like, I don't know. 
them. As long as you're grateful, that's all I'm saying. Or staying humble about the things you get. I really don't know how to do my eyeliner anymore. Some people just like to be the way they are and we can't really judge them. However, I will say I did meet this one person before. I'm not gonna name whoever it is. I'm not gonna name. And this person was a little bit standoffish. I knew of this person and like we just happened to like be in the same room, I guess you'll say. That person didn't really... Sorry, my camera kind of died, so I had to charge it, but I finished up my um, lashes and my eyebrows. I think it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start contouring my nose, but as I was saying about meeting this person, meeting as in like, I met eye to eye, not really like, oh, hi, how are you? So I gave like the most friendliest smile, like, I was like friendly with my gesture even though we weren't able to speak. There were just like two other people around and um, I was there with another friend of mine. This person looks at me and kind of shrugged it off. <laughs> That's all I can say. He or she was like... I was like... <laughs> person don't like me <laughs> but you know I kept my calm but my friend told me the same story but you know the funny thing was I guess this person thought I was like kind of like a nobody and I, I I'm not a I'm not anything I really am just a nobody you know but then later I guess this person found out that I was part of this thing we were doing the person became really nice to me complimented me and said you know like this and that and I was just like what <laughs> So what I'm trying to say here is be nice to whoever you meet. Like, always be nice to them. It doesn't matter who they are. We're all human beings at the end of the day, and why can't we just be nice? If you have a status, then that means you're important. No. Being in a situation like that just kind of shows you, like, you know, people's true colors or whatever. But you can't really judge them off base of that either. Like, I don't want to be like, mm, so that's how you are to people? Because that was just me. Like, I don't know if... Well, me and my friend, maybe, huh? This is how I like to contour, I like to smile. Just so I really get where my chin is. Be careful of these kind of reds because they could make your teeth a little yellow because it's not really cool tone, it does have a hint of orange. I should probably do my hair, but I'm too lazy. And there you have it. This is the finished look. What you think? What you think? Okay. I love how my skin is glowing from within. I love the glow. I really hope I get to see you guys at KCON New York. Don't worry. I'm also going to KCON LA. So I'll see you there if you live in the West Coast. Don't forget to like this video if you want me to do more get ready with me type of videos where we can just sit down, have a real conversation, and just be girls. I hope you subscribe to my channel to become a Faye Bay and also follow my social medias at Hayes Faye on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. Until next time, I'm sending love. Bye!